Feel the breeze. Yo, what up? It's your boy Breeze. Feel the breeze. I'm I'm like fighting for my life here, gentlemen. Like I got no kinds of backup. It's just me against the female community. And I'm talking about battle of the sexes. Now, we have another lady here to fight for the women. Here to put them on the set. Here to make sure they get the victory. But guess what? They won't because nobody beats the breeze. But anyway, we got Miss Lovable who's going to stand up for the ladies tonight. Ain't that right, Miss Lovable? Yep. You, Shall see. You, you, think you, could take, you think you could take out breeze? You think you could do it? We'll see. You, I mean, you, are you confident? Yes. Okay. Well, here we go. This is how it goes. I'm going to ask a few random questions, okay? You're going to speak on it, obviously, from your side. I'm going to combat you from my side. We then post the show, and the viewers will tell us who won. Um, you'll have eh, three to five minutes to state your case or to prove your point. If in the three to five minutes you continuously go over when I'm trying to tell you time's up, you will be disqualified from your question. Do you understand the rules? Yes, sir. Now, the only one who can go over the time is me because I'm the man. I'm the I'm the guy. I'm the star. No, Excuse me? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I have to abide by the rules, too. If I do not abide by the rules, I also am disqualified from that question, okay? Okay. So, we're going to start with something light, something simple just to ease you in, okay? And I hope you are not like some of the people that I battled that get absolutely shy nervous and scared remember you're representing i mean come on this girl power right here right you are the one carrying the flag for your sex here all right so battle of the sexes round one question number one here it goes you ready yes obviously and this goes towards men and women but you see what people be posting on instagram facebook twitter you know whatever they decide you know tiktok whatever right and let's say they are very provocative pictures. You're talking about they holding their 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 breasts. They barely have anything on, but the comments that they're getting, you know, they're very, you know, outspoken, perverted. Does the girl deserve that comment? I mean, if a girl feels sexy, she feels sexy. She wants to flaunt it. She wants to show it. That doesn't give a man the right to say that, to say something provocative. They can be gentlemen. This is your comeback? Yes. No. That's your comeback. That's the best you got. It goes both ways. No, hold on. Yes, so it does go let both me ways. okay. So let me okay. Let me enhance it a little more. Okay, they're provocative pictures. But let's say in the caption she puts, "Do you want this? Come get it, Daddy. Who wants to suck this? Okay, shit now. like that." But that's what I was getting at. I was okay, trying now. to be subtle, but you didn't get it, obviously. <laughs> no, now, okay, well that's different. Then. That's what I okay, but that's she's what I'm getting at. She's literally asking for it, right? So when she's getting the comments that saying, "Oh, baby, let me get that, get at that," or or she says uh, she'll go on to my story post, right, and be like, "The DMs I'm getting are ridiculous," you know, da da da. Well, to me, oh, boy, I can't, I can't go because it's your turn. Pick it up from there. Should she deserve the comments that she's getting and the DMs that she's getting? At that point, yes. Why? Because she literally is asking for it. Mm -hmm. If she's putting that comment or whatever on her picture, then yes. It's like, come look at my picture and comment something dirty because I'm asking you to. Right, right. 
Well, that's where I was going with it. It's like, okay, so how is a girl going to be upset about the comments that she's getting when she's the one who's literally putting right there, you know, do you want to eat this? Do you want to suck this? Do you want me? I'm like, well, what the hell are they supposed to say on there? Are they supposed to say, I object? Like, you, come on, man. Even girls are, are replying to that thing like, yes. And it's like, you don't, you don't expect to. Do you expect to get an educated answer in those comments is what I'm saying? Maybe the person posting that is hoping that somebody would be like, yeah. Okay. Know, what's up? Like, like, come at them like, yeah, let's go out on a date or something, you know? I mean... That's unrealistic. I'm sorry, but it is. Mm-hmm. But that, that to me is just somebody who is looking for attention or wants that validation. Like, yeah. Okay, but they're, I giving, am you, sexy. they're giving you. They're giving you. I am hot. They're giving you yes, that. Yes, but you don't are. like it. Yes, they are. But maybe they want it in a different way. Maybe you should post it in like a different way. Po- I don't. I've never understood this. Why do? <clears throat> why do? women feel like they have to show they ass they tits all this when they really don't they just have to show how beautiful they are and they will get comments but they want like a million comments so they go over the top in what they post how do you expect the guy to react there's a lot of men that unfortunately are like that though Mm -hmm. you have to show tits ass whatever to get their attention it's not just oh she's pretty let me go talk to her no some men are like, oh, she has big tits. She has a big ass. Damn, she looks good. Let me go talk to her. It's not just about she's pretty or she looks beautiful or, you know. Again, unfortunately, there's a lot of men like that. So the, so the question is, does she deserve those type of comments that she's getting? Short answer, if she is putting that comment on the picture herself then yes so you are and I, I'm and that's just, my personal opinion and I'm just, of course but we're just clarifying you are on the side of yes she deserves the comments she's getting am I correct on that yes okay so what I'm gonna say is a little more you know a little more detailed because that's just me but Women can be beautiful without being too provocative. Case in point, you can go look at a couple models, you know, go look at their stuff. They don't have to be in a bathing suit. They don't have to be in a lingerie. They don't have to be laying there with a pillow between their legs only and holding their breast. They can look beautiful. And then they will get those comments. Man, you're beautiful, blah, blah, blah. Right? Mm -hmm. But... Jesus, if you're laying there half-ass naked, you're asking provocative questions, you are inviting a certain criteria to your page, to your comments, like you said, those guys. You know, you're going to get those guys. I get it. But to sit there and then say, I can't believe the comments you guys... <laughs> Not like you're you're posting a picture from the library or something, you know. You're sitting there half ass naked asking, Daddy, will you make me come? Uh, uh what what do you think the answer's gonna be? You think the answer's gonna be super expedocious, expialidocious, uh I will uh uh I will give you the ultimate pleasure in what you are seeking in your journey to an orgasm like no you're not gonna get that you're gonna get baby let me fuck yeah that's what you're gonna get top and bottom line so yes you deserve those comments yes you deserve that traffic if that hey man if that's the freeway you got on that's where you're going you feel me so okay that's um (laughs) that's one so Let's go to the second one. Second one. Battle of the sexes, ladies and gentlemen. If a man or woman is the hard worker, is the breadwinner, is the one doing everything to make finance, let's say, right? And the other party, man or woman, so please keep in mind I'm saying man or woman, Just doesn't do nothing and stays home and waits for whoever's going to bring the bread home and all that. Should that partner even have a say in anything? No. 
in anything. I, even though even though they're in the relationship. Yes, but a relationship should be 50-50, not 100-0 or 90-10. If you're in a relationship with somebody, how... If you love that person, how can you feel so comfortable letting them take care of you fully? Why why can't you say, like, let's go to dinner tonight. I'll pay tonight. You paid the other day or the other night. Let me get tonight. I have always been very independent, so I don't rely on my partner to take care of me. I take care of myself. What he brings to the table is just extra. But if that partner didn't do anything like that, what I'm saying is should they have any say in anything that goes on in the house? No, because at that point, that person is taking the brunt of everything. If they're paying the rent, the bills, everything, then why should that other person have a say? So you again okay, now we're just we're locking in your answer. So your answer is no. They should have no say whatsoever. No. Okay. I like that answer. Cause I was just about to demolish you if you said yes, but now I can't demolish you because I agree. That person should become a mute and just say yes or no when there's a question answered to them because they are nothing. They are not doing anything. They are not bringing anything to the table. To me, they have no nothing of value to an opinion because what are you doing? Mm-hmm. What are you doing? You're sitting at home watching whatever the hell, Lifetime movies or Netflix movies while your girlfriend or husband or significant other or whatever spouse is out busting their ass in your home. You should have no say in anything, nothing, the way the money is spent, what what is uh, purchased, like nothing. You should have no say in anything. So my next question to follow, to, to piggyback off that, do you know people like that that don't do anything but want to be spoiled and still have say? And do you agree with that? I do know people like that, and I do not agree with that. At all? At all. No defense? No. Again, if you love that person, how can you sit there comfortably watching them bust their ass every day, come home tired, and you're sitting there doing nothing to help? But still, you really but, love that but still, person? But still want to say, that? but still want to control things. Exactly. And still demand things. Exactly. Like, I... I don't know. I, again, I'm not like that. I could never be that way. And you know people like this. I know people like this. And I, again, I don't agree with that. <laughs> but. Do you ever want to say anything to them? I do, but I'm not. I I hate drama. So I just bite my tongue. Because it's really, I mean, if they want to live their life like that. And if the partner accepts that and doesn't do anything about it or speak up about it, then. I guess they must like it too because they're just letting it happen. Now, are you ready for the spin on this? Okay. Why is it every time that that person is the villain? The person that's busting their ass. If you if you look at half these posts, if you look because you know people be writing stories that everyone can see for a reason, they will play the victim. How how to, to me my question to you is how are you victim at that point? Clarify how that's a victim. They're not. So you so you you don't think they're victim. They want to be the victim in the public side. You mean the person who's not doing anything? Yes. Everybody goes on social media to brag about not I don't want to say everybody. I don't want anybody to take offense to that, but A lot of people go on there to post things to glamorize their life. Like, oh, look at where we went today. Look at what we did. Look at where we went. And a lot of the times it's like... Shots (laughs) fired. Again, no offense to anybody. Uh But I do see a lot of people that do that. And the people that you know in real life, you know, you see the kinds of posts that they're posting. And you look at the post and you're like, what the fuck? Like, you are nothing like that. 
so I mean yeah you know if somebody is with their partner and their partner is working busting their ass and they're not doing nothing but they want to be posting like oh we went here and I got this and oh I got this and look at what I bought with whose money I personally, when I bust my ass and I buy my own things, I feel awesome about that because it's like, I worked hard for this money and I earned this. All right. I like that. I like that answer. Matter of fact, I ain't even going to combat that answer. I ain't even going to debate that one because, number one, it's true. Number two, we do know, we know people like that. Um, And it's pretty funny because to me, it's like... Why would you, number one, post something like that to begin with, knowing damn well the people who do know you could really blast you out the water if they really wanted to. Um, But that's not your life. And you didn't earn that. And you didn't do anything, you know, that shows me, ah, that a girl or that a boy. You know what I mean? It's just, oh, oh, that was handed to you. (laughs) You know what I mean? Like like if somebody gave me a car... What I I mean, yeah, you know, awesome. I got a car and it's a nice car. But to work for that car and to buy the car you want and to do what you want to that car, like it there's no feeling like that. Like you can't get that feeling from somebody giving you something. Okay. All right. I like that one. I like that. All right. So we're gonna we're we're gonna leave that one there. Like I said, I'm not even gonna combat that one because there's no combating because you pretty much I'm, on, I'm in agreement with you. So that one, there, there's no battle for that. But these next few ones, there probably is going to be a battle. So we're going to take a deep breath. We're going to compose, compose because we, 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 we've we been riding along kind of in the same car right now. But trust me, right now, I'm about to get off. Y'all taxi and you going to keep going. So here we go. Dating. Okay, it's been a long time since I've dated. Um, I don't know how long it's been since you dated, but we are gonna go like this, okay? Should here we go? I mean, this is I'm I'm trying to word it now. When when I when I did this battle with the anonymous one, she uh she, <laughs> she surprised me with it. So I'm I'm here here we go. Should. The woman automatically assume that the man is going to flip everything when they go out. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna, wait, wait, let, 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 let me ask it again. Because trust me, I asked this question twice to Anonymous too. Because the first time she was like, <laughs> so I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna give you that same respect. Okay. You go on a date. You've been asked out on a date. You've met someone. You're finally gonna go meet up on a date. Should you assume, expect, or prefer that the man is going to flip that date? Now, is this the first date? Okay. First date, I'm going to say yes. Because... You said yes? Especially if you ask... No, I, I, wait, I, I'm, I'm confirmed. I'm locking you in. Yes. 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 You assume he's going to flip that date. I don't want to say assume. Expect. But hope that. Because okay. it's the okay. first, no, I, I'm it's just the first saying, date. Just I'm, out of respect. You know, you're the... Well, you know what? I don't even want to say you're the man. Because... I am the man. What? I mean, get it right. I mean, you are. I'm Breeze. I'm the man. No, I'm just kidding. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. ahead. Yes, you are the man. But nowadays, it's like, it doesn't even matter. But first date, I believe the guy should pay. Or whoever. Like they say in Spanish, el que invita paga. So you invited me out. You asked me out on a date. So... In my mind, I'm like, okay, he's asking me out, so he's gonna pay. Okay. Do you have anything to add to that? Because I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, we, we about to yell taxi, and we about to part ways on this one. This will be the first battle. Okay. 
So is that your? Do you have anything to add to that at all? That is my answer. That's your. Okay, so yes. I'm I'm locking you in. You ready? I'm gonna repeat and lock so I know I have it right. Yes. Yes. You you agree with the fact that the man who invited you out, right, is in your mind likely to flip that date, correct? That date, yes. Okay. Here's where now we battle. And by the way, I'm flipping this both ways. Should the man expect the girl to pay if she asks him out? Same way, okay? My answer, no. The woman should not expect the man to pay for the date. And here's why. Even if even if I told a girl, hey, let's go here, right? Let's go out. I am not in my mind saying I'm paying for all this shit, you know what I mean? Because there's, there's two reasons why. One, don't women want to be treated equally? Don't women always say, treat me equally? Don't think you're better than me. Don't think you are superior over me just because you have maybe money or whatnot. So my thing is, if I take you out and we go to, let's say, three or four different places, well, I'm going to think that you're going to, you know, equal rights, be treated equal to pick up one of those tabs, whichever it is, because we are coming together. We both knew we were coming together. We both knew where we were going. You shouldn't expect me to pay for every single place that we went. I mean, to me, that's just, I'm looking at you as, okay, so you're expecting me to pay all this. Therefore, I'm looking at you as maybe a materialistic person. Again, I told you, this is where we're going to part ways. <laughs> okay. But at that <clears throat> point, you asked her out. Mm-hmm. So you planned the date. How is she supposed to know that you're going to all these different places and why would you then label her a gold digger or whatever? Because I'm te- I'm telling you where we're going. It's not I'm surprising you where we're going. I'm telling you where we're going and you're agreeing to it. But it's the first date. Oh my god. <laughs> so it's the first date. So that's not to say So the mindset is first date you're just Yes. You're just assuming I got this. So if me and you went out on a date tomorrow, you would automatically assume I got that covered. And not be prepared or anything for any kind of shenanigans. For the man to say, well, girl, I covered dinner. You can't cover this. I mean, it really did. Again, there's guys that are different. There's Mm -hmm. guys that would say, like you're saying, no. You know, I... You shouldn't expect for me to cover all that. Then there are guys that say, yeah, I'll cover it all. Don't worry about it. Even if the girl goes to take her card out to pay or her money or whatever it is. No, don't worry about it. I got it. This is why it's battle of the sexes. So it just depends what kind of person you are. Doesn't necessarily mean you're a bad person if if you don't want to pay for everything. No. But what I was going to say is that's not to say that, like, okay, you know, you like that person, you go out on a second date, okay, then she covers it. You know, it's not like, now, okay, if the girl expects the man to pay all the time, then yeah, that's kind of fucked up. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much where I'm going. But again, you said this is first date, so first date, yes, I would say. Okay, so let me, okay, so... First, so we're going to say first date, you'd expect the man to cover everything, right? Yes. Okay. But additional dates, you don't expect him to cover at all? No. Okay. okay. I, I personally, but again, just like there's different guys, there's different kind of girls. So I personally wouldn't expect the guy to cover it all the time. Like you said, maybe I would offer to pay at one or two places if we went to multiple places or if we just went out for the night, like to dinner. If he covered it once, then I'll cover it another time. Okay. All right. I got you there. I got you there. All right. So y'all tell us what you think in the poll. It's lovable, right? Is Breeze right? Because I'm not agreeing with that statement. 
she's not agreeing with my statement. Therefore, there's your first battle right there. Okay, moving right along. Gonna get a little more juicy, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, here's where it's going to just get really, 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 really crazy. Okay, we all have family members we do not get along with, okay? Whether it's male or female. And it's a person that's brought into brought into the family is what I'm saying, okay? Person brought into the family. <sighs> Some of the family members like this person. Some of the family members don't. You in particular. Should you follow the family and just like this person since everybody likes them? Or call them out and be ousted and be the black sheep. I am not the type of person to sit there and fake something. Mm -hmm. Fake it till you make it. No. (laughs) (laughs) No no, no faking. Don't get me wrong. I won't be like rude to that person, you know. But if I don't like you, I don't like you. Like if I don't tell you, you'll see it on my face. And I don't think that somebody should like somebody just because a family member is with you or whatever. Like, if you are disrespectful to me, you have to earn respect to get respect. So if you disrespect me, I'm not going to give you respect. And if I get ousted because of that, then I guess that's just how it's going to be. Even though the family's going to turn against you. Yes. Because I don't deserve that disrespect. And if my family can't understand that, then... Oh, well. As much as it hurts, you know their family. But I'm not going to sit there and allow myself to get disrespected. By somebody who isn't anything to me. Okay. So, I'm the same way. I don't... (laughs) front fake um, have to like someone to be part of something and if I and if (laughs) kind of basically if you're not down with them then you know you can't hang with them or whatever that's not my nature but if to me the family doesn't see (laughs) what you see and you've kind of told them hey this person's you know like this and they refuse to see it or refuse to accept your answer then I don't want to be part of it because what I don't want to be is part of the fallout when shit does go wrong you're brought up oh it's because you were fighting with this person and that's why things went awry no 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 no. things went awry because uh that's who you are and that's who you got with and i told you who they were to to me to me which i'm gonna bounce back to you what's the problem with being straight up and telling them hey man this is why i don't like them when the family outs you What's your next reaction? What do, do you go ahead and pout and tell the family, man, you just don't like me because of that? Or do you just be like, right, well, you'll find out yourself. I mean, I guess in between there, mm-hmm. because it does suck for for you to not be close to family. Over an individual that's not oh, family. Exactly. And the next but, question, woo, we, yeah, I, I'm, you might blow my microphone up, but... Oh, oh. <laughs> but keep okay. going, keep going, keep okay. going. I mean... I forgot. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh. <laughs> Where did we leave off? <laughs> it's both kind of pouty and... Uh, oh, that's right. It's in the middle. So, so yeah, it sucks that, you know, you're not going to be good with your family. You're not going to be, you know, close to them anymore because of this person. 
But at the same time, again, are you just supposed to sit there and allow yourself to get disrespected by this individual while your family sees what's going on and they side with them rather than defend you, that you are their blood? And I mean, I everybody has to, you know, live their life, whatever. I understand that. But if your family is telling you that this person is no good and you see it and you just choose to ignore it then I mean can you really blame that person for not wanting to be a part of that I mean in my experience I'm usually the one who's the bad guy regardless Same. regardless Same. Um, and I know a lot of people out here do you know, I, know, I see friends that deal with, with this on the daily. And I'm like, man, bro, like, why are you even putting up with that? Well, I don't want my girl mad at me. I'm like, well, you should. To me, when that happens, it's, ugh, I, 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 I just usually feel like, wow. You mean to tell me you can't feel your own certain way about something and still yeah. be okay with the family? Like, I don't, I don't, I don't know. If, I don't get it. If you're in a relationship <clears throat> with somebody, it shouldn't be that way. That's what I'm saying. You're supposed to back up that. Yes, exactly. I don't know. Like, how are you going to allow that person that's not family to disrespect your family and you just sit there and watch them do it? And don't even and say do anything. Nothing, say <laughs> don't nothing. even say anything to that individual. <laughs> yeah, I'm that. sorry, but no. Okay. So, piggybacking off of that is where I say you might blow my microphone up. Or I keep saying my microphone. Blow your microphone up. So I don't know if I'm going to have to turn you down or what. But. This is. This 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 is. I'm telling you. This one is going to ruffle a lot of feathers out there. Because people will be on two different sides. I promise you that. Should an individual. Whether man, female. Doesn't matter what race. And it's a family-only event. Should that person be welcome or invited to that event? Family-only event. That, to me, says it all. It's not family and significant others. It's family. Now, if they say, okay, well, I know it's a family thing, but can I bring, you know, my boyfriend, my girlfriend, whatever. Then, okay, you know, but if your family says, no, it's a family thing. I want it just to be family. Then you need to respect that and not get upset over that. Have you ever ran into that situation? Yes. (laughs) Wow. I I didn't even finish asking the question. No hesitation. (laughs) Yes. So you have ran into this. Yes. What was the, what was the outcome or what happened? I was the bad guy. I see. Always. Why were you the bad guy? Did you say something? B- yes. Okay. What did you say? Because I'm not just gonna sit there and let it happen. Did you take said. anybody to this family no. event? No, because it was a family event. Did anybody else take anybody yes. that was family? I mean, that was not family. Yes. Besides this individual. Yes. Wow. So then how is it a family event at that point? Exactly. Now it's a f- other family plus other family event. Because now it's not just that one person. Now it's their family as well. So you are on the... you are. On, uh, I'm locking your answer in. Should they be allowed to bring anybody if it's a family-only event? Your answer is no. No. If it's a family-only event, no. My answer, no. And not only for the fact that they're not family. For the fact that I don't know this person. I don't know what they're capable of. I don't know what type of drama they can possibly bring to this event. So if I don't know them, I don't want them there. See, family, you know who's there. You know what everyone is capable of. And when you bring an outsider or a stranger that has you have no knowledge of or what their thought process is how they're going to judge people and all that other stuff or how are people going to judge them how are they going to talk to your family what if they start something who are you going to defend you're going to defend your family but then at the same time you're fighting against your family because that family member brought that person so to me 
that's a no-win situation. No. So if anybody ever called me and let's say I, I was saying a family-only event and they call me and say, hey, can I bring? I'd be like, no, they are not family. I don't care if you're married to them. They're not. That's still not family. That's your family. Like that. That's your wife. It ain't my sister, brother, uh, nephew, uncle, aunt. You know what I mean? It's that's just for you. So to me, no, I do not think anybody should be welcome if it's a family only event. I don't agree with it. I've seen it. I've been part of it, and I've gotten into a lot of arguments about it <clears throat> and guess what I was the, bad, the guy. bad guy <laughs> I was bad guy like I was you are bad guy <laughs> I was bad guy but I don't necessarily mean that I was the bad guy you know I was just <laughs> okay <laughs> now we're gonna get a little away from the family and we're gonna get back into this is a tough one. <clears throat> when I brought this one up in the last battle of the sexes, there was a mixed reaction. So the, the, we're, we're going to see where we go with this one now. If the partner, female, male, kind of like the scenario I painted you earlier, it's just never really does, it's always home, right? Mm -hmm. Doesn't do nothing. But the partner is the one busting their ass, doing whatever they can to make sure everything is taken care of. But now, the other partner's upset because that partner's never home because they're always busting their ass. Should that partner have a valid complaint? Now, wait, now, now, now but I'm going I'm to reword it, too, in this, in this sense. The, that partner is busting their ass to make sure all the bills are paid. Whatever the hell that person's spending, they're replacing Pretty much everything they have to do to make sure that they're okay. Should the other partner have a valid complaint that you're never home and you don't spend time with me? No. Because where do they think that money is coming from? I'd be like, do you... You and Anonymous are not going to be liked. <laughs> you're, you're battling for the girls, not against them. I mean, yes, but... Again, there's different kind of girls. There's different kind of guys. Yeah. Not to say that all girls are, are the same. All guys are the same. No. So, again, me personally, no. Like, if I was out busting my ass and I was with somebody who just sat at home and did nothing and they had something to say about me never being home, I literally would be like, do you like your TV? Do you like your phone? Oh my god, you sound like me now. <laughs> no, seriously though. <laughs> that, because that, how that, do was, you, that was my argument. <laughs> because how do you think that things are getting paid? Like I don't just, I can't just sit at home and do nothing and make that, money. That's what I'm saying. So what I'm saying is, does that partner have a valid complaint? You're never home. You don't spend time with me. No, I mean, yes, it sucks. You know, but that's the price that you have to pay. If you want a roof over your head and food on the table and you know all your luxuries if that's what you want to call them and and remember it's that person that is putting you in that position because they keep spending you have to replace yes. that income so exactly so how are you gonna be mad <clears throat> oh babe i want this new purse i want these new shoes i want this new car i want this new phone where and the hell does <laughs> phones are just as much as cars nowadays <laughs> seriously <laughs> Where does that person think that the other person is getting money from? It's not being handed to them, you know? So that's pretty much the price you have to pay in order for you to have what you want, the life you want. So I bring this up because I found I, I was I was actually going to post it onto the show, but I don't have that authority yet. Soon, soon. But there was a, a, a post that I found where a woman was literally ranting and raving that her husband's never home because... Um, He's working overtime all the time, da, da da da, right? And there was a comment where somebody asked her, "Well, what do you do all day?" And she said, "Nothing. He's the breadwinner. I'm I'm just here for him when he needs me." And he and the other person said, "Well, maybe that's the problem. The problem is your man is doing everything while you're just sitting home waiting for him to be needed or whatever." 
And she went on this tirade like it was Karen on steroids. <laughs> like, just, you don't get it. I'm a beautiful woman and I need to be taken care of. And, I, and I'm like... So, just because she's beautiful, she it, that gives her the right to yes. stay home and do nothing? Yes, kind of. No. And, 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 and that's why kind of when I was reading the whole... Uh, I know we're going off course here, but I just want to kind of give an example. Uh, everybody was mad at, at Dr. Dre uh, because he left one of his kids home uh, something like that I don't know but you have to sit back and wonder well, what did this woman do to Dr. Dre to make him not even acknowledge her or you know what I mean like you just automatically assume because he's a billionaire he should do it and that's your daughter well what did she do and where did she come from because I didn't even hear about her until up and, until that and where the where the the wife remember the wife or the former wife is saying well I need this much money to survive but why? Because you need to buy extravagant things, right? But getting back to getting back to to what we were saying, that person should not have a complaint because, what like you said, while you went and bought your new phone, well, who you think got an additional two hours of overtime to to get replace that that income? Yes. When you went and bought a Gucci or Fosachi or you know whatever kind of bag, those when I see them, they're usually about almost. A thousand, you know, bucks on online. Where do you think that money is going to come from? His pocket. So what's he going to do? He's going to work even harder to replace that money. Or I don't know about you. I know a lot of Amazon alcoholics out there. They order all day. Who do you think is paying for that? He is or she, you know, because it's members he or she. Yes. So I do not think you should be complaining. I think you should be like, my man or woman is awesome. They bust their ass all day, and all I got to do is sit here and do this. Why are you complaining? I agree with you. I don't get it. What? Why? Why complain at that point is what I'm saying. You got everything you want, and you got a man or woman who's doing everything, and you're just reaping the benefits. And you don't even know if that... Uh, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. It's like... I <clears throat> I read stuff like that. And... It drives me insane. Because I'm like, wait a minute. Just because you're beautiful, you think you're entitled the world? No. How many beautiful women are out there busting their ass too? And there's some beautiful women that work like at Denny's or... Everywhere. A- anywhere you go. Yeah. They're not getting stuff handed to them? No. But again, like I've been saying this whole time, there's different women, there's different men. See, that's why the the girly girly girls, the girly girly girls, not not not, you know, not the girls like you or anonymous or, you know, the special guest one that we're going to have, I can't say their name, but you know, y'all like real with it. But if I go get the prissy, girly, girly, girly girls, they'll probably be crying on the show. <laughs> I'll just bury them. Like, you don't understand. They wouldn't even have a chance with me. So, locking in your answer. You are in the field of no. They should not be having any valid complaints of you don't spend time with me. Blah, blah, blah. No. Now, if they were working too, then... Maybe yes, because being in a relationship, you want to spend time with your significant other. But if you're just sitting there and expecting that person to pay for all your stuff, no, you cannot sit there and complain about it. Okay, we're locking you in. Running out of time, so we're going to try to get through these next two ones. And I've ran into this situation So it's hard for me (laughs) to even ask it. But here we go. Male or female, don't matter, is running a business, is in charge. They are the front person. They make all the decisions. Should their partner... Ah, man. See? this, This is difficult. Should their partner have any say on the decisions that that person is making 
based on how they feel about a certain individual that that person may be working with. I'll give you an example. So let's, and I've seen it. Let's say these rappers, artists out here, right? Creating their own label, right? Mm -hmm. The woman, his woman or his man, we don't know nowadays, Mm -hmm. says, I don't like that person. Don't work with them. But there's money involved because it's a business. Now, should that person, with what I'm saying, be sticking their nose into that person's business based on their feelings on this person? Or should they just let them run their business because that's what they are, their business? If, okay. If that person feels some kind of way, then they feel some kind of way. But they're not paying you are they gonna pay you what the money that you're gonna miss out on if you do stop talking to that person that's my question all, to you all that person can do is you know say their opinion of that person what they think of them but what I'm saying and is should they try to sway that person's decision no like I would be vocal about it like I don't like that person because blah 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 but again, I can't sit here and say, okay, I'm going to give you this much money because you missed out on, you know, that opportunity because I don't like that person. So in the end, it's like, you got to do what you got to do, no matter how you feel about a person. If it's business, it's business. You need to learn how to separate business from your personal. And I think that, and <clears throat> I agree with you. I've been in this business long enough. I've actually had that partner that has tried to interfere in decisions when I'm trying to make them, tried to make them, let me say, it's past tense. And I missed out on a lot of offers because, you know, that's that's your partner. So you're like, well, I want to piss them off. I got to live here. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> um, you know, because, I, I mean, that's what I'm saying. I think a lot of these people who are making decisions like that are basing it based off what they're going to have to deal with at home if they go against what that other person is saying they don't want them to do. Mm -hmm. Therefore, they miss out on a lot of opportunities. But I feel that that person just needs to just let him run his his or her business without stepping stepping in at all. Mm -hmm. Now, if that person looked at his partner and said, hey, what do you think? That's different because you're you're asking that person's opinion, and so now you get to weigh on it. Mm-hmm. But if that person just jumps in, is like, I don't want you working with that bitch. Da 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 da. Like, this is a fifteen thousand dollar contract. What do, what, do, what do you mean you don't want me working with them? What, are you crazy? Are you gonna give me fifteen thousand? Are you gonna give me fifteen thousand dollars? <laughs> you know that much. Well, she ain't or he ain't. So exactly, you gonna miss out on that. And what if that person is blowing up? Not only are you missing out on that fifteen thousand, you're missing out on that train ride. Mm -hmm. So people need to, to me, to me again. This is me talking for for my team, for my team. If you're not involved in the business, if you're not on the contract, if you're not a partner, if you're not anything just other than in the relationship, you should not be interfering in any kind of business decisions that are made. Maybe it's a trust thing. But at that point, you know, that's when you need to trust your partner. Because how are you going to hold them back? I have an issue with that answer, though. How are you going to hold them back? Because you have trust issues. That's what I'm saying. I have a problem with that answer. Because obviously, before you got with this person, you knew what they did. Mm -hmm. You knew what their business consisted of. Mm -hmm. You knew what line of, um, let's say, business they were involved with. Just like if, let's say you were a stripper. If I'm dating you, I know what you are. I know what you do. How am I supposed to be upset? Because this is the life you're doing. If I'm a porn star and you're dating me, well, you know what I do. You should not be like, I can't believe you're going to fuck that bitch today. Oh, bitch. (laughs) That car car you're driving, it was me bending that person over. You know what I mean? Like, what I'm saying is the line of work they're in. You already know before you get involved with them. So how are you gonna? 
<laughs> How are you going to be upset about the selections that he's making and or she's making when you already knew that's what it was? Maybe they thought you were just going to be working with a guy. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm so done right now. You know? <laughs> well, we got 10 minutes left. <clears throat> so uh, we're locking in that answer. That person should just stay away from the business, right? Have no say in it. No, not when it comes to the way you're making your money. Right. No. Okay. Should not be involved. Should not have should not have it an influence not, on that decision. This should not interfere with your business. Okay. All right. We're locked in on that, folks. All right. Final question of the day. Whew. I like this one. This is a good one. I'm going to rub my hands together like there's a fire in front of me. Here we go. Are you ready? Yes. Should your partner get upset... If you found them watching porn. No. Wait, what? <laughs> uh, wait, I uh, just... <laughs> Dustin. Wait, what did you say? No. No. Why? Have you seen mo- social media? I can't believe this motherfucker was watching porn. Okay, would they rather have them out there fucking cheating on them? Oh! Or watching <laughs> porn? <laughs> it, okay. If you say, hey, would you rather your man go cheat on you or watch porn? Uh, duh, watch porn. Maybe even he'll fucking learn something new from there. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Just saying. He's taking notes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, he's going in for an upgrade. Right. Um, she's like, going in for an upgrade. But let me come back. Let me go get you a notepad and a pen. And take notes. <laughs> okay, so... We're going. We're we're gonna lock this answer in. Yes. No, it is not offensive to you if your partner is watching porn. No. You know how many guys are gonna be looking for you on social media? Right Should now? probably be like school over. <laughs> I there is nothing wrong oh. with that. Now, you'd be surprised how many girls get offended that their partner is watching porn. Why though? It's like, like are are they gonna get offended when you're watching a movie that has like a sex scene in it? It's the same thing. You can't do anything with them. How many people got it. offended watching Shades of Sex or whatever the hell that shit was called? Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> there you go, Sixty Nine Shades of Grey or whatever. Oh my gosh. Um, but my, no, my point being, you, I mean, go, if you don't believe me, just go go and Google right now and type. Is porn offensive to sexual? And watch the react. You will just laugh. I got my popcorn and was just reading comments for about 30 minutes <laughs> the other day because it was just funny to me. To me, you should. And I don't want to word. Well, yeah, I do want to word it the way I want to word it because, goddamn it, that's me. You should be glad that your partner's watching porn because, one, it could maybe spice something up. That's what I'm saying. Two, maybe they, hey, we should make a sex tape. Something. But. I mean, I don't know about that, but. <laughs> privacy of your own home, baby. You got a cell phone. You got a camera. <laughs> That's it. You don't even need a camera anymore. Your cell phone is your camera. Let's put it to you that way. Say, you know what? Hey, lock the kids away. We we, we, we devote in 30 minutes to this sex tape. You feel me? <laughs> but what I'm saying is, to me, I don't see how it's a bad thing when they can. Sp- it could be a thing to spice shit up. Try something new. Adventure. Um, but w- this one, let, let's put it, this won't even be a battle. Let me just. Why do you think girls find it so offensive? Or men as well mm-hmm. find it offensive that their women or man is watching porn? Maybe they take it personally. Like, damn, but, I don't. I but don't what's do personal it. about it? Like, I don't do it for you no more. You have to go and watch that shit. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe the guy's tired of you just laying there. And, you know, he's like, well, fuck, I need to get off some type of way because I don't want to just keep doing that. Yeah. Well, or maybe the woman, too. Maybe the woman's like, man, I'm tired of just riding him all the time. Like, can I get doggy style or something? Yeah. Like, you don't know. There's freaky girls out there. That, and that's where it comes in handy because, again, you're going to learn stuff from there. That's what I'm saying. So why do people get offended? Do. 
What, what is the what is the what is the trigger is what I'm saying what pisses them off so bad that they want to rant about it like I don't can't believe I caught this motherfucker watching porn maybe they can't do what they're doing in the porno and they get mad I don't know do you think they possibly get a fit now I kind of thought about this for a second and see, like I said, I'm a very, very, very well thought out individual, so I never just say something. I always think about it. Is it possible the partner maybe thinks that will lead to cheating because of what they're seeing? They can't get at home. They see it in a porno and seek someone that might want to try that? Maybe. What do you think? Maybe. Like, if, if there's nothing happening between those people and... Maybe they might misinterpret it and take it that way. Like, well, why is he or she watching that? What are they trying to learn from it? What are they trying? Like, they're not doing that shit to me. So who the hell are they doing that shit to? They're not doing it to you because you won't let them do it to you. I'm saying in in their in their sense, in their eyes, they're watching that because they can't do it with you. Mm -hmm. So as the partner, shouldn't you be like, well, maybe I should be more open to his ideas because I mean he's obviously enjoys watching it Mm -hmm. Well, that's where I'm saying do you think that's where the the cheat seed comes from because it's like well man I would I can't even do this with her so maybe is that why I'm saying is that why they get offended so upset Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. see I'm not I'm not a chauvinistic pig like all these other people you're thinking out there okay (laughs) I'm actually one who's open minded and looks at the a sphere from all sides you know like okay well if i was in this and i was in that situation and in this situation but i don't think to me it should be anything that you should be offended by or get upset if you see your your partner i i remember i shared a little story it was uh, i was uh i was living my god i think i want to say i was t- oh my god i'm old um i think i was like 23 i think i want to say and I wasn't ashamed to admit it. Shit, I had a I had a computer. I discovered they had fucking porn on the internet. I was like, oh wow, hey, look at this. And I started checking out a video or whatever. And at the time my girlfriend walked in, you're a fucking pig! And I'm like, calm the fuck down, it's a damn video, relax. And just like broke up with me for three weeks over that shit. And she broke up with you she for watching. She broke up with porn? me for watching the porn. Oh my gosh. This is a true story. It's going to be in my biography. (laughs) (laughs) Straight out of East Los. Um, I got broken up with because I watched a porn video. And I'm like... And I even asked her, what did you get so offended by? The fact that you were watching it. Help. Because I don't know the fact you were watching it means. But you weren't doing anything. Wasn't doing it. It's not like she walked in and I had my dick in my hand. I was like, oh, God, yes. You know what I mean? It, it, I, <laughs> Even if you were, then you were doing it to yourself. I was doing it to myself. You it wasn't were. like there was a fucking person there and exactly. I was doing it. Exactly. But, oh, oh my God. And 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 I, I'm telling you, I have friends that say, man, dude, I was watching a video and my fucking girl and she got all pissed off. I'm like, why? <laughs> like, to me, again. Not because, you know, I'm just a pervert. No, I'm just like, well, why? Like, we're human. We I'm pretty sure she scrolled through a couple sites and saw something, too. Like. We all do it. There's nothing wrong with. Would you be upset if you walked in and, and saw your man masturbating to a porn? No. Okay. So, why do you think women get upset when they feel I don't want to say they get upset why do you feel they they think it's a bad thing if a man decides to you know masturbate to a video or whatever when she's there and I'm and I've always come to say if there's if it's really hard to try to find what a woman will and will not do 
because a lot of them are really, really shut off. You know what I mean? They're, they're used to sex, and this is what they're programmed of doing, and that's all they'll do. They will not venture. They will not try something new. So, therefore, a guy, you know, will watch a video with something different. You know, maybe he watches um, a fantasy video or whatever. And he likes it, and he gets off, and he pleasures himself. But then the woman gets upset. Or would you be upset if, let's say, um, somebody was watching a video of a threesome or whatever, and was like, oh, man, I've always wanted to try that. And he pleasures himself or whatever. And you walk in, and he's watching that video. Are you freaking out, getting mad, calling him an asshole, a pervert, some bitch, get out of my house? Something like that might be questionable because it's a threesome. Mm-hmm. So what is that going to make the girl think? Mm-hmm. Why is he watching a threesome? Oh, it's a fantasy. Yeah, but to her, it might be something that the guy might be interested in for real later. I remember watching this. So not watching. I saw this meme that said, babe, I'm going to fulfill your fantasy of a threesome. And it's a girl bringing the guy home. Oh, my gosh. It's like, hey, you wanted a threesome. You didn't clarify. He just said you wanted a threesome. Um, lovable. We usually don't do this, but we're gonna do it this one. Uh, this will be the second time actually. We we we're gonna break. We're gonna break the time limit. We're gonna ask one more question. Okay. And this is not really a battle of the sexist question per se, but it's a question where men and and women um, defer. On you know what what they feel is right, what they feel is wrong. It's a pretty good one though. <clears throat> Woman or man, don't matter. Has daughter, son, whatever, right? And that person is not their biological father or mother, but the kid is super defiant. There's obviously a boundary to how much he can be disciplined by that partner. Whether it offends the biological or just causes issues. What point do you feel enough is enough when they, st- if they step over that boundary to discipline that person? Like, you know what? I'm sick of this shit. Maybe they get in their face and yell at them. Maybe they just grab them and be like, look, you're not going to disrespect me in my house. You know, whatever. What is the what you think? Where do you think you draw the line? Where's the boundary on that? Is there a boundary on that? Now remember, the kid is super defiant. Super defiant, like in one. Not respecting that person, consistently causing arguments. It's just a pain in the you know what. And the person's finally broke. He's finally had enough. She's finally had enough. Where's the the, where do you think you draw the line on that boundary? That's a tough one. That's what I said. <clears throat> because at that point, it would cause issues between that couple. Correct. So where do you feel the the line draws? Well, definitely, you should never put your hands on somebody else's kid. Mm-hmm. But... You definitely should bring it to their attention, to your partner's attention. What if the partner just shuns it? Where does that leave you? I mean, that I guess that would be your decision. Do you want to stay there and, and <clears throat> if there's no change? <clears throat> and keep dealing with that? So should the partner be punished if he or she stepped over the line after they've warned you and warned you and warned you and you still didn't do anything about it and now it's gotten out of control they react because we're all human we are all we are all human one sooner or later we one of us is gonna break should that person be the villain i I don't know it's hard it it is but what would you be would you vilify that person is what I'm saying I mean at that point you can't you can't because if that person was telling you hey this and this is going on he's not respect he or she's not respecting me and they do nothing about it then I mean that doesn't really leave you 
That's what I'm saying. So I'll paint you a scenario. Let's say you're um, the stepmother, mm-hmm. and I have a daughter, mm-hmm. and you've told me, man, your daughter's just, man, she uses really foul language, calls me names, and I'm trying to be respectful as I can, you know, because I'm not her mom, but, you know, man, there's a limit, enough's enough. And you guys get in an argument, and my daughter spits in your face, and your first reaction as a human is to react, and you just smack her. Now I'm pissed that you laid hands on my daughter, overlooking the fact that she spit at you, and now you're the villain, is what I'm saying. Even flip it the other way, it's a man, and he's telling you, man, your son's getting out of control, and he's acting like a fucking man, and if he keeps doing that shit, I'm gonna show him he's not a man. And you just say, well, I mean, you know, you shun it. Mm-hmm. Now they get in an argument, dude shoves them. Well, what's going to be the reaction of the dude who just got shoved? Yeah. He's going to either, one, shove you back, or two, fuck you up. What I'm saying is that person the villain at that point. Are they really the villain, or did they just get pushed super far? I think they just got pushed too far and how and what's your and that's what i'm saying how are you handling it at that point because mother nature you know your intentions is to keep your you're like you know protecting your baby cub no matter how old they are mm-hmm. but remember you have a partner there with you that has warned you and told you this is happening now it's at the breaking point is he why why does he get the why is he the bad guy or she you know flipping it yeah they warned you, right? They told you. Your kid didn't listen. I mean, they need to hold the kid accountable. You can't be spitting in somebody's face and not expect something to happen. Or shoving. Or shoving. I mean, shoving, maybe. Well, they're going to get shoved back. Yeah, but that doesn't necessarily have to lead to an ass beating, but... But in a sense... if. Like you're saying, the kid is just disrespectful, and yeah, I. But guess who becomes the villain? Even though they're disciplining them, the person who reacted. Yep, and I don't think that's fair. Mm-hmm. That's why I always tell you. I tell you, I tell anybody that listens. When somebody tells you a story and they try to vilify someone, first find out what really the happened. Whole story. Don't just take what they told you. Because obviously they're going to tell you what they want you to hear to get vilified. Mm -hmm. But where's the in-between? Because it didn't just go from zero to fucking 100 real quick. Something built up to that that got you there. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's why I was so good at catching my kids in lies. Because I'd be like, wait, so you're telling me. You just sit there and analyze everything. Yeah, (laughs) that's just me. That is just what I do. And... And my crew knows it, so if they try to get one by me, they're like, oh, my God, God, he's going to sit down, and he's going to break that story down and come back and be like, hey, uh, (laughs) I know you told me this, but what happened in between that, (laughs) you know? Um, But, okay, so locking in your answer, that person should not be vilified if they have come correct and warned you that this was going on, and now it's at the breaking point. They react. They should not be the villains. No, because you did what you could and nothing was done about it and it got to that point. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a good one, y'all. Who who had the valid points? Was it Miss Lovable? Which by the way, thank you so much for coming on the show, taking the time out of your busy schedule. I appreciate thank it. Thank you for having me. Of course, of course. And or was it Breeze? Did Breeze hit the valid points? The poll will be up. All you gotta do is vote. And on the next episode, I'll come in and tell you who won. Now, if Miss Lovable wins, I will have her back to defend her title. Not against me, but against another champion of Battle of the Sexes, if they can beat me. Anyway, it's your boy Breeze. Again, Miss Lovable, thank you so much. I really appreciate the time. Battle of the Sexes is in the books. Feel the breeze. We will be back, uh, I think, I want to say with, if everything goes correct, a special guest in the studio. will be the first in-studio guest ever on Feel the Breeze. 
So stay tuned for that. It's your boy Breeze. I'm out of here, yo. Peace out.